And a licensed medical marijuana provider was busted for allegedly growing 15 times more pot than Rhode Island allows. And NBC 10's Bill Rapley joins us now with more 186 plants. Yeah, that's right, Patrice. A little bit more than the patients may have needed. That Westerly man arrested last week. While his family says the plants were only seedlings intended to provide care, the police say he was growing to distribute. In a quiet backyard garden where the water tumbles over rocks, police were tipped to a growing operation of about 180 marijuana seedlings right out in the open. The alleged owner, 24-year-old Robert Smith, who was arraigned today and is being held in the ACI. He is a licensed primary care provider in Rhode Island, allowed to grow marijuana for medicinal purposes, but only 24 plants. His father points out that the seedlings have no medicinal value. It takes a while for the plants to grow past the juvenile stage before you can select the female plants, which is the only one that have potency. The law clearly states only 12 plants per patient. If you have more, if you're a caregiver and you have more than two patients, you can only grow 24 plants. Representative Thomas Slater was the House sponsor of the medical marijuana bill, and this is the first bust of a primary care provider. There are 314 licensed in the state. And last year, a patient was arrested for having more pot than allowed, and Slater says the law may need to be changed. I think it maybe it needs to be changed or it needs to be tweaked a little bit so that we can come up with some way of dispensing medical marijuana by a nonprofit or some other group. Smith's father, an amateur horticulturalist, also believes if his son is a criminal, then the law needs adjusting. The intent is that you able to grow something to produce medical marijuana, and you can't do that until the plant's big enough to select. But the police believe long before that they are big enough for arresting. Now, every provider in the state must have at least one doctor-certified patient, and interestingly, there are more licensed providers in Rhode Island than there are licensed patients. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News. And